you know that I can Good morning, everybody, and welcome. If you're new here, my name is Callie. I'm so happy you're here. Thanks. So if you're not new here, well, it doesn't really matter if you're new here, if you're not new here, I'm gonna be doing a weekly vlog. I sat down and thought about like, what do I want like my YouTube strategy to be? What the hell do I wanna do? Cause I feel like I'm always just like randomly throwing up videos and I wanna actually get on like a strict schedule because I personally feel like YouTube is something that I thoroughly enjoy. I love the editing process and I just like that you can get somebody's personality more on Instagram, <laughs> on YouTube than you can pretty much anywhere else. So with that being said, I'm gonna be starting weekly vlogs. So I will be doing one this week and then next week I will not be doing one because I won't really be around slash also. My camera, if you guys have been following along, is still broken. So unfortunately what I learned is that it's going to take like a week to send it off and get like the screws fixed, et cetera, et cetera, so I can finally use my viewfinder frame without hoping I am so next week I figured since I won't be here for half of the week it would be a really good time to send off my camera anyways I'm super excited so I am off to PT this morning and the grocery store Alrighty guys, just got back. I'm always buying some sort of flour at Trader Joe's. I will say, sadly, because it snowed last week, their trucks didn't come in time, so some stuff, a lot of stuff was not there last week, and honestly, I still felt it a little bit this week, which is kind of annoying, but let's do a little grocery haul. Alrighty, so I've been typically making meal plans um, this year, but I didn't do it yesterday. I was just having a really lazy day. And I was transferring over my new phone, guys. I finally have an updated phone, no home button. I got the iPhone, iPhone? I got the iPhone 12 Pro Max, and I'm super excited about it, but I still have to mail back my 8 Plus. That little guy was with me for like three years. So. Let's get into it. I did some grocery shopping halfway through the week last week, so this is a kind of lighter load, but also pretty much all the regular stuff. So needed more greens, sourdough. I use this for like my toast and stuff in the morning. I got um, hamburger buns, because I think we're gonna do burgers at some point this week. Love that peanut butter knife. Um, carrots, Will wants some healthier like snacking things, so we can do that with like dip and stuff. Peppers, avocados, we already have some over there. Salmon, we have salmon every week. Honeycrisp apples, the best apples. Tomatoes, strawberries. I am so in for grapefruit season. Bananas, Will loves pimento cheese dip. I got this pizza sauce because I got the cauliflower thins. Everyone's talking about how good these are. So I guess I could try these for like a little lunchtime situation. I don't know, little mini pizzas or I don't know what else people use these for. Brussels sprouts. Their crackers are good. This is like the only couscous they had there. That's the only thing I don't love about Trader Joe's. Is like sometimes I just like the easy name brand stuff that you can go find. Um, coconut milk because I'll probably make coconut rice this week. Some olive oil spray. Got Will some pistachio nut meats. It's a weird name, but he was like, "Can you get me non-shelled pistachios?" So that's like a snack for him for work. And so is this. I got the beef burgers because they were out of the chicken chili lime burgers that everyone says. Everyone says the chicken chili lime burgers are amazing, but like I said, they were out of a lot of popular stuff. So I got these instead of turkey burgers just because Will is not a huge fan of turkey burgers and I'll do this. I wanted to try this because love ricotta and spinach, so maybe I'll have that for lunch one day. Eggs, tuna, I got this peanut butter for Will to take to work for his snacks as well. Cucumber, and honestly, that's it. So I'll show you guys. We have some lemons, limes, avocados already, and Let's see what else we already have in here. Well, let's see, I already have some brown rice, saute arugula, the chicken sausage. I have a little leftover salmon from last week. God, I should probably throw this in the freezer. Scallops, we're gonna do scallops probably tonight. And then bacon. And yeah, so I already have some zucchini. Like basically I had some leftover stuff from last week anyway. That is why I did not stock up insanely crazy.
Does anybody else get super anxious when they have to like reset their phone? Because that's how stressful it was. This weekend was just really stressful for me, like switching over to my new phone. But I'm officially trading in. Trading in. I just have to mail it back. But thank you, iPhone 8 Plus. You've been a good dear to me for I think like three years. I don't know. It's been a long time. Okay, can't do this with one hand. But mailing this in. So one thing I am working on right now is narrowing down what podcast cover art Emily and I are gonna choose. So we did a photo shoot last week and we really need to send this to the artist that is doing it for us. So that is on my to-do list for the end of the day. And then as always, every single day, I start with my to-do to -do, to -do, to -do, to -do, God, can I talk today? To-do list, but it's literally already 12.30 and I just feel like Today's been kind of crazy with like going to PT and then going to the grocery store and then dealing with my freaking phone. So I'm just now getting around to what I need to get done today. Just now getting back from my walk. I'm literally sweating, but I don't regret walking. I'm glad that I did it. I needed to do it. Also, if you guys didn't see this jacket, I've definitely linked it on my Instagram story, but it is the Orle like famous Amazon jacket and it's amazing. I love how many pockets it has. Uh, it definitely keeps you super warm and I also love that the strings are long. I just feel like it's more fashionable that way. Oh my God, I legit have sweat on my head. My armpits are sweating. Does anybody else have a sweating problem like me? I legit have like river pits at all times is what I call it. And also, if you don't follow me on TikTok or Instagram, which you should, it's a fun time. Do I have armpit stains? Oh my god, I do. Guys, Woo. These are the uh, Lululemon dupes from Hawthorne Athletic, and I'm obsessed with them. They're so comfortable. A lot of people say that they're the Align dupe, but I have been telling people that I think they're a mix of the Align and the Wonder Under because they feel a little bit, more, they're like still soft like the Align, but not like, cottony soft if that makes sense they definitely have more of the wonder under like athletic performance aspect to them so i would definitely work out of these but i also grab them like every day to just chill in i really hope i was in that frame shit so now that i'm sweating i'm gonna drink some water if you're watching this chug water right now and get going on my to-do list so it is lunchtime, and I don't typically do like a whole pasta for lunch situation. I'm very honestly picky about pasta, and I feel like I have to really be in the mood for it. But it's getting later, and I picked this up today at Trader Joe's. I wanted to just, I don't know, try it. It seems super simple. You literally just put it on a stove top with olive oil. So I'm going to do that, and it should be ready really quickly. Okay, so it doesn't look like the most appetizing thing ever, but... I'm obsessed with pepper. I put pepper on everything and I love it. But I did add some fresh basil that I had left over and some actual ricotta cheese. So let's see how it is. My friend had these sweet and what are they called? Spicy chili Doritos here for the Super Bowl. Why are they good? I'm gonna watch my new favorite obsession. Delaney Childs, I don't know if you guys follow her, you definitely should, if not, I don't know, I just find her really like inspiring for, you know, for a creator standpoint, and I just dig her vibe, I think she's awesome, and it's so funny, I was talking to my friend Claire, I was telling her that I like, I'm sick of posting on Instagram in a way that makes me constantly feel like my captions have to be long, and that my photos have to be a certain way, where I'm like, I am all about like the aesthetic now, it's just like literally what I'm fucking obsessed with, and if I could have an Instagram feed like hers where it's like, I don't always have to be in it or you know what I mean? Like it can just be really basic, but my personality be on like Instagram stories and YouTube, like that's my dream. And she was like, you need to totally check out the Lane Childs. She was like, that I feel like is like what you're talking about. And I'm like, holy fuck, yes it is. So I didn't even know she existed until literally like two weeks ago. So I'm just like binging all her content. Anyway, I told you guys I was gonna taste this, didn't I? I'm a little nervous. I wish I didn't add as much olive oil and water. Like I wish I did less than the direct direction said. Seems a little oily, but we'll see. It's fine. It's not great. It's fine. Whatever, it'll get me through lunch, but. So I have been working away on my new preset. 
So I'm working on a film preset. Um, I've been like teasing it for a while now and I was just like, you know what, it is time and I wanna release it this Friday. So let me see if I can show you guys the before and after. So it's, okay, it's very hard to tell on here, but basically you can see a little bit better on this way. But it's hard to see like the grain and stuff, but you can obviously tell that the color is a lot different, but maybe I'll put something up on the screen for you guys to see. But yeah, so I'm coming out with a film preset and I've been like really trying to work on it, really trying to affect certain colors. It's very hard because I have to test so many different photos to make sure it like looks good on like a plethora of different options. This preset is definitely best used like an outdoor lighting or like flash camera lighting. I don't know, but I'm really, really excited and I know some people like don't have film cameras like I do or don't want to go buy them or always spend money on disposables and stuff like that. So I'm excited to put this out there because it's obviously just like a one click. Um, this helped like anything outdoors that like a human's not in, this is like literally one click for me. But for people's skin tones, you may have to like adjust a little bit. But when it comes to film, like I'll show you guys, there's usually this almost yellowy tint anyway, if that makes sense. I think you guys can maybe tell that, but. Anyways, yeah, there's always like a little yellowy and it pulls out some like the blues and greens. It's hard to explain, but yes, I'm launching that this Friday. I love the editing process. It just like makes me really happy, so yay. All right, so to-do list looks like a hot mess today, but what I'm gonna do now is this big thing that I need to do, which is plan my Instagram for the week because I've talked about this before, but I just, need to plan stuff in order to not be so stressed or anxious. Let me sit this down. God, I really hope I'm in this frame. How many times do I say that in an epic video? Not after this week. So what I want to do is actually like plan an aesthetic. So I know that I'm launching my preset on Friday. So I know that Friday I want to do like a photo dump of just all pictures using my preset. So Friday's good, which we love. It just like feels like a weight's been lifted. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then I wrote aesthetic because I really want to like almost create like a mood board based on some people that I follow and like their vibe that I like and then what actually makes sense for me, what I like and yada yada. So I already kind of have an idea of one photo that I want to take tomorrow with these little flowers that I got from Trader Joe's because y'all, I'm rebranding. What am I? I don't really know. But for so long I was Calfit Life. So I'm not going to go into this because it's literally on Monday and this is a weekly vlog, but basically... I want to just post pictures that are a little bit more aesthetic and not just so like me, 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 me. And if people like it, they'll like it. And if they don't, then they'll unfollow me because people already unfollow me every fucking day. So might as well be happy. You know what I mean? Let's plan. Oh my God, you guys, I am like pulling inspo and I think I finished it, but I'm running out of daylight. So I have to do this really, really quickly. Ah, I can just break it down for you essentially of what I'm kind of looking at. So basically I decided based on my feed and everything right now, I wanna just have like a very casual picture of me, but I'm focusing on maybe providing you guys with a little, not maybe, I'm focusing on providing you guys with a little bit more value and just like more interesting stuff than just like, oh, this is a picture, like what's the fucking point, you know what I mean? So today I'm gonna talk about a bed frame that I'm thinking about getting, so I'm just gonna like talk all about it on the stories, get everybody's opinion, yada yada. The way I did it, this is the first time I've ever done it like this, I like kind of, did what the picture would be and then kind of like what my caption would be a little bit. So then tomorrow I already had this idea to use those flowers from Trader Joe's, which I said. So I like kind of did like a whole like go to a parking lot, go to a blank wall, something very casual as the caption. Wednesday I am going to get new products from Sephora. So they should be here by then at least. So I plan to do like a whole skincare thing in my stories. So once again, like my whole point and kind of like what I said is that I want to send people to my stories more and to my YouTube videos more because it's like more personality and more valuable content. So I can actually use my creative when it comes to actually making content, if that makes sense, because that's like one of my favorite things and I kind of went away from that because I was too hung up on what people would think and what would perform well and so yeah, fuck it. Welcome to my Monday. This may be the last thing I'm showing you guys today and the bed frame I'm thinking about getting is from Soft Frames. It's an LA based company. Oh my God, it's gonna be like my first actual Instagram picture I'm taking on my freaking new phone, woohoo! Okay, so making a super basic dinner tonight. If you're from places like I'm from, you appreciate seafood. So scallops are for dinner. They don't take long, literally like two minutes on each side. Zucchini, and I'm gonna put some couscous in there. I'm also watching Mulan. 
make fun of me if you want, but I need like a little comfort distraction in the background, so whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna feel the couscous in. This is like literally a 10 minute dinner, so love that. Dinner is served. This is a little hot sauce because this is plain couscous. Normally we have like the flavored one. I, I add some spice in there, but nothing crazy. And yes, this is a very nice light dinner. And with that, I'm gonna end off the vault here. Will and I are gonna watch some Survivor. We're back to rewatching seasons because we're so obsessed. And yes, it's Monday and I haven't watched Bachelor in two weeks, so I plan on maybe catching up tomorrow. I'm just kind of over it. Anyway, see you guys in the morning. Good morning guys. I just made my to-do list and did my manifestation journal. So, journaling. So now I'm gonna work on my PT exercises because um, I do them in the morning and the evening. One of the exercises I do is like shoulder circles and um, it just like helps open up my chest which helps my back essentially. I mean, everything is connected to your back which isn't unfortunate but for me it is unfortunate in the recovery process because it's like everything I do is affected. When I go like that and I told her I was tight Oh my god, so she was like digging in like manual therapy, like, oh my god, it hurts so bad. Like massaging me like in my chest and armpit area. Literally, to the touch, I'm sore. I'm gonna go do those now and then I have something fun to do today for me. I'm just gonna take you guys along with me. It is 9 a.m., so I'm gonna get this done and um, I have some things to knock out before I hit the road. So I just do my exercises in our little extra room. You guys haven't seen the video of me redoing our office yet because I haven't. Waiting on a desk scenario. There's a soul cycle bike. So it's just, I have enough room in here when I do it. I'm making oatmeal this morning. I'm just so sick of eggs. I had eggs every day last week. I'm saying that now, but I'll definitely have them tomorrow. But um, I always do my oatmeal on the stove top and I just do equal parts oats and then almond milk. I need to get a little bit more. I always add a little dash of vanilla. All right, so I'm just gonna dump these in this pan and I'm just gonna add some cinnamon and just like grill them a little, I guess. All right, here we go. I miss, mixed a little bit of honey with the bananas too. Uh, this is actually a lot of oatmeal. I don't normally eat this much, but I finished off the, I keep them in big mason jars, so I just finished it off. All right, so easy breakfast. It's so creamy and good. I'm probably insanely backlit, but. Okay guys, so per my whole Instagram plan yesterday, I am, planning my outfit for today. And I don't know, I really need to find a parking garage where I live because I had like a go-to one when I lived in Bethesda, but I don't have one now and it's annoying and I like don't have to pay to go into one and take pictures and a lot of the roofs like suck. I don't know, I feel like everybody in freaking California has like the best roofs ever. So I don't know, maybe I'll have to start venturing into DC or something. But I will say I have been taking pictures in parking garages since like 2016. So holla, I didn't invent it, just saying. I'll show you guys the finished product before, but I have a whole plan of what I want to do and where I want to go. It's kind of a pain in the butt. I also put on this big chunky necklace. I wish that it was longer because unfortunately like I have it up on one of the higher, you know, clasps in the back, but because of that it kind of covers up this little coin necklace that I have, but unfortunately, when I try to get it as long as I can, it covers up like the, both these necklaces. So it's from Electric Picks. Um, I can link it here if you guys want, but yeah, so just like Target hoops, this, I still haven't done my makeup. <gasps> what the fuck did I get on my shirt? Anyway, um, so yeah, and I'll probably do like a whole like a drape scenario with it, but anyways, I'll show you the finished product. I gotta get moving. Okay, so this is my outfit um, for my picture today slash just what I'm wearing today. Jacket is from Amazon, except I feel like one of the tags said Shein or Shein, whatever the hell you call that brand, but whatever. Anyways, and then sweats are misguided. Obviously, shoes and socks are Nike. My crop top is Free People, and then my beanie is from Herschel. So, yeah, just plan on going to take some pics 
uh, like a parking garage or something, and then I'm heading home for the day because I'm getting my nails done. If you guys know, you know I don't trust a lot of people with my nails because they always end up looking jacked. Even when it don't fit right. I still wanna party with her Even when it don't feel right My battery died while I was taking pictures so Lord knows what you saw probably just me struggling with the tripod but anyways that was done I paid for 15 minutes and literally I got back in my car and I had like 10 seconds left so I took like the full 15 minutes I did like a few different angles and I'm actually really excited for the way they turned out also the iPhone 12's camera quality Oh my God, my life is about to change. So I'm super excited about that. And honestly, I'm just feeling really good because I haven't actually like taken the time to go set up a tripod and take pictures by myself in a really long time. So it's always good when like there's nobody around and stuff like that. Unfortunately, the roof was closed of this parking garage that I used to go to all the time, but I made it work. So yay. Number one, the video quality of the iPhone 12. My God, but I somehow left my camera at home uh, and I never ever film in there because like in the nail salon because obviously my nails are being done and then I have crap on them or foil on them or gloves on them, whatever. Anyways, this may go down in history as one of the happiest days I've ever been with my nails. I'm just so excited. I think they look so good. They're so cool. Are you ready? So if you follow me on Instagram, you knew what, oh, you can kind of see it. You knew like what vibe I was going for and I did it. Ah! They're literally yin yang, yin yang. We used to call them yin yang, but yin yang. The shape of my nails, literally perfect. Um, and I was like, you know what? Cause I showed her the picture and the girl's nails were actually like one hand was black and one hand was white. And I was like, I think I'm gonna go white because I always go white and I ended up actually liking the black better. She was like, why don't you just do it? And I was like, yeah, then I'll know for next time like which one I like more. But, and then I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna do the classic ring finger. I was like, I'm gonna do one pointer and one ring. I'm sorry, I look so excited, but like, they look sick. I'm so, like literally, ah! So yeah, there's my nails. about to eat dinner and then head home. I haven't seen camera qualities in that bad either. All right guys, so exciting things. Last minute I decided to, I decided I was going to surprise Will with Maui. So she's gonna stay with us till Friday. So that's fun. He has no idea, so he's definitely gonna be super excited, but she gets car sick and we made it literally the whole way. She puked as I turned it onto the street. So that's always fun, have that lovely thing in my hands, but okay. here we go. Hello. Oh, <laughs> what is this? Oh, do you not see it? No. Oh, look at this. Surprised? I am. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, and we have a guest, obviously, you know, from last night. Hi. <laughs> She's so cute and pretty, but bad. So, my dad wakes up. Ow, mother! No! These are not pants, you bite. No! Oh, my God. She's gonna fall on me! <laughs> so, anyways, my dad wakes up at, like, 6 a.m. every day, so her body clock is early, and hopefully you can hear me. But Will got up at 6.30, like let her out, whatever. But she just has like an insane whining issue, unfortunately, because my parents are getting their kitchen worked on, which is another reason that I took her. Um, so she'll just whine if other people in the, are in another room and she knows they're there. So basically she was doing that this morning, like when Will left the gym or when he was in the bathroom showering and I was just literally trying to sleep. So I just feel very tired this morning, but I want to show you guys my breakfast because I'm making like a pretty big breakfast today. I'm gonna have a grapefruit and make my matcha because I, ma I haven't had matcha in like three or four days. And when I drink my lemon water, it's, I mean, lemon water is supposed to like 
I think it's like not not make you hungry, but it's definitely when I drink it, I definitely don't want my matcha after. So I feel like that's also why I haven't been drinking it as often. All right, so someone wants some water or she want to play with her bowl? <laughs> so obviously I wanted the egg on top of here. Oh my God, look at my nails. I'm so excited with them. This egg, sometimes it just happens. It just didn't poach. <sighs> so annoying, but this one is. So I'm gonna try to put that on there and then I'm gonna cut my grapefruit, make my matcha and that's breakfast. Alrighty guys, it is time for a walk. My walk outfits can't be overly stylish because I have to have like supportive shoes when I walk. So just wearing Will's big Under Armour sweatshirt, my new Olive Soul Cycle in movement Lululemon leggings. That was a mouthful. And then my Nike socks and Adidas Ultra Boost X. So they're like made for women. I love these, they're like cookies and cream looking shoes, um, but I'm literally just wearing three separate brands right now. Little girl is very tired, but we're just gonna take like a quick 20 minute walk. I'm gonna listen to a podcast, come on. And that way, when I go to PT and stuff, she'll just be pretty tired and fine in her crate because I hate leaving her. That's the one thing about her being here is I feel like I get nothing done when she's here because I just like, wanna cuddle her and lay with her and don't wanna leave her alone and go anywhere. But we're gonna take a little walk. Um, I'll probably listen to my favorite murder. Um, I literally am just at the point where I just re-listen to a bunch of old episodes that I don't remember, so. They just get me through. My hair looks a mess, but I don't think I'm going to do it. Her new thing is um, dumping over her water bowl. I don't know if I showed you guys that earlier today. I was like, oh, look at her carrying her water bottle. There was water everywhere, and then she did it all over again. All right, so I am gonna try these for lunch. They're just the cauliflower thins. I don't know, I'm sure they're really good. I got this pizza sauce at Trader Joe's, and I'm just gonna put this on it. Um, I'm just gonna have them as like plain cheese pizzas because our mushrooms are a little questionable right now. So I'm just gonna do them in the air fryer and just see how they go. I'm not like overly hungry right now, so let's try it. The verdict is in. I burnt the shit out of the cheese. So yeah, but oddly enough, the this isn't that crispy. It's good. It's fine. Honestly, it, it is a very good substitute for pizza, bread, or sandwiches. I don't freaking know, but the burnt cheese, I was just too lazy to make another one, so. I just got a spot out front of PT, which normally I'm driving around for 15 minutes when I give myself 15 minutes and then I have to park far away or pay $15 to park and then I'm late to my appointment. But now I'm 10 minutes early because I got a spot out front. So look at my nails. Look at how pink my cheeks are because when I wear the mask and then I'm like face down. Woo! Also, I put on my self tanner on my face today because I was looking way too pale. Anyways, I'm feeling in very good spirits because just wrapped up, obviously I didn't film in there, which is fine. I would have been like mooning the camera because she was like working on my glutes. But anyway, um, I can't stop looking at them. I just feel really good because Ashley's been my PT from SoulCycle for like two years and she's so incredible, she knows her stuff. I'm so annoyed with myself that I did not start going here in November because I just think I would be better right now, but you live and you learn. It's how it fucking goes. She basically said that I'm already getting stronger, which is great. Basically what I'm working on is like my core, my core is non-existent and uh, my glutes. The point is, is that I have to work on a lot of like motor control and stuff like that to just like build my core and fix my back. And she just said, she was like, you literally started last week and you're like already getting stronger and looking better. So she was like, I think we can probably move you after next week to one time a week, which is really helpful for me because she's out of network. So I'm paying for her out of pocket and I'm willing to do that because she's that great and I have a relationship with her and she knows exactly what I do at SoulCycle. So she knows what my body needs to be able to do. And I really was having a struggle last week when I called my insurance and they, cause like we switched over in January and she, they said that they wouldn't cover anything out of network. And I was like, I, I'm like not working right now. I was like, I literally don't know how I'm going to afford this, even though it's, so I'm just happy. And I'm happy that like, even just doing exercises that she gave me last week, like already feel stronger and better. So 
With that being said, I'm gonna go home to Maui. Let's see what we got. I got a fuzzy neck gator. Is this even on me? I got a little neck gator. Cause I'm going to Breckenridge. Okay, I can work with this. Oh good, I like that the um, strap is all black as well. I should put on my outfit for you guys later. I can't see because there's like a film in here, but they don't feel super tight to my head, but I guess I'll have a helmet on. I have the smallest head, I literally should get cake goggles. Okay, okay, this works. I got like wool socks, two pairs of wool socks. And then lastly, this is sort of for the trip, sort of not at the same time. I got a large Hanes t-shirt because I needed a white t-shirt to like wear under like short sleeve shirts. There's like a string on it. So that's a really not exciting unboxing, but my jacket also came and I can't decide if I want, unfortunately the women's size was out. So I had to get the men's, which I don't have a problem with, but men aren't shaped the way women are right here. So I got a small in men's because everything online was telling me I should based on size and measurements, etc. And it's super fine. I got dope stuff. So I'm going out there being like, I'm such a snowboarder, like really looking like one. When you zip it, it feels kind of tight, which I guess is probably the point. But I want it super plain, but I like it. And I like these little stringy thingies. And I like that it can definitely keep me warm. And I like that it's zip front. Some of theirs will have like a quarter zip. And stuff like all their stuff is so sick but i'm annoyed i had to buy a jacket anyway because i already just got a new jacket for christmas but it's not like a snowboarding jacket and i'm not even sure if it's like 100 percent waterproof so i'm gonna try my jacket on with my bibs later i'm gonna go edit a tiktok now so i have been doing different parts of my story of quitting my job as a teacher to become a soul cycle instructor people seem to be responding to it so i'm happy about that and if I can inspire anybody to do the same, quit their job that they don't love, they should do it. So I'm on part. So these are Trader Joe's, those burgers that I showed you guys in our grocery haul. I made the Brussels sprouts and zucchini and sweet potato fries, but I already started eating, like I said, and saving the burger for last. Obviously, pickle on the side and pickle on it. This burger is as dry as the Sahara Desert. It's really unfortunate because I think it would be good and it looked really juicy. I guess I overcooked them. I'm powering through, but it's, it's not great. Getting up at 6.30 thing is really tough and it's way harder on Will because he actually is the one that is getting up and dealing with it. But it's just hard, but we broke the rules last night, didn't we? We brought her back to the room. Yeah, I don't know, the more and more I lay there, I was like, I have a feeling I'm just gonna not put her in her crate. And which I'm usually very good about. Will's like, let her sleep in the bed, let her sleep in the bed. I'm like, no, she's crate training. But I just like kind of fell asleep and dozed off and then like when I woke back up I was like I don't feel like moving her. She stayed on the bed all night long. Good girl. But then I texted my parents and they thought I was kidding and I was like no and they were kind of mad so <laughs> in the crate tonight. I really wish I had a good place to film full body but I guess I don't. I don't know. I don't love like them. I was a little worried because I guess I'm an in-between size because these definitely feel tight here, but I feel like that's how they're supposed to be. They're not supposed to be super baggy, and I think this is definitely the right size for me. And this is my outfit. I'm excited about it. And I have some other stuff, but you won't see that until you're on the gram, right now? But yeah, woo success. Now I can finally check this stuff off and not turn anything else. Okay, don't mind this random angle. I have been getting influenced by people posting stuff. Plus I'm, oh my god, this is so cute. This is 
quarter in the large. This is from ASOS. I just like couldn't wait because I want to take this with me to Breck. Oh my god, this is so cute. It's like, uh, it's a fleece, obviously my color of the year, sand, tan, whatever, like shirt dress. I don't know if you'll be able to see me if you stand up. But it, like, it would be so cute with leggings and boots or like docks and a beanie or something. Oh my god, this is so elegant. Anyways, it's 2021. I need to start taking my skincare more seriously, which means more video content for you guys because we love a good skincare routine, right? So this package is from Sephora. I was like, you know what? I need to get on the skin. Like my wrinkles are getting crazy. Thinking about Botox, like no shame in my game. So number one, I'm trying the shampoo and conditioner, but I got the travel size obviously just to try it. It's from Day and number one, like packaging goes a really long way in my opinion. And when I saw this, I wanted to try this and see how it smells. But essentially my hair is a disaster. My hair is super long, but I have switched my shampoo probably like four times in the past year. And yes, I am using certain like drugstore ones, which everyone's like, ah, don't do that, uh, which I've done my whole life. And like, I just never, my hair number one is like, would you say my hair is fine? I don't know, but my hair, it's definitely not thick. I never have volume. And it just like gets greasy within like two days and it didn't used to be like that. And like I've just noticed it a lot more recently that I like have to wash my hair like every other day. Long story short, my hair just doesn't feel very healthy right now and I want like something very citrusy. Eh, it's fine. And then I got just this free, this was with my points, Sunday Riley CEO serum. I'm going to start using serums and my free Tarte Mermaid Skin little hydrator thingy and the Peter Thomas Roth um, water drench hydrating. We're talking about hydration here, people. So obviously influenced by Hiram, but I was like, you know what? I need a serum and I really hope I got the right one, but I got the hyaluronic acid. This is so much. This was like $12. They're so affordable. So I just wanted a serum and I hope I got the right one, but I think I did. I'm trying to have like a cleanser, a serum, a moisturizer, and SPF. SPF is the, the main reason I got stuff. And then, oh my God, I'm so excited about this. The Fenty Skin Moisturizer that has SPF in it. Packaging, bomb, love the color scheme of Fenty Skin. So oh, cute. Comes in its own little thing, I guess so. It, so they actually show you how much is in it. Well, this is adorable. It has SPF 30 on it. Look at this cuteness. And then last but certainly not least, every influencer I follow or care about to follow and actually listen to their recommendations set is all about necessary. Holy shit, am I saying that right? One day, maybe one day I'll do a brand deal with them. The hand cream. My hands are dry as fuck, cracky, nasty. So I got this. I love products that come in these little squeezy bottles that like get kind of ugly, if that makes sense, like the Summer Fridays jet lag mask, which also should be coming soon. It's like sold out everywhere. I legit bought it on Poshmark because people sell that shit on Poshmark for cheaper than what it is, and it's sold out like everywhere right now. So yeah, then I got this. So this is a fun little haul for me. Doesn't look like a lot, but Sephora adds up, oh my god, and oh my god, this. everybody it is now Friday it is freezing outside but little miss needs to get some exercise because yesterday we could tell the difference when we went to bed that she did not get as much because it was so cold so now I have to suck it up and just go walk plus I need to walk from my back anyway Alrighty guys, so I am finalizing my preset. It is $5 today only. I mean, I feel like I'm probably just gonna be nice and let it always be $5, but just finalizing pretty much everything. It's 9.30 now and it goes live at 12. I think we're good to go. So I decided it's Friday and I wanna have a sandwich like this today. Um, so just have my matcha and yeah, it's just turkey bacon, egg, Swiss, avocado and sourdough. Okay, so now it is 
11 o'clock. I've gotten a good amount done already today. It is the first time that I am checking my phone. I have been limiting social media definitely in the morning. So like today I woke up at like eight and I, I now haven't been on my phone for three hours. I answered like two text messages because one of them I had a question that I needed to ask my sister and then somebody texted me, but like I've really made a conscious effort to not check my phone in the morning. So I use my phone as my alarm, which I'm sure I could get an alarm clock, but it's just the way I, it wakes me up gently because I'm a very light sleeper. So I just wake up to the vibrate of my phone. But it's, I've noticed it's definitely really helped me to not waste time laying in bed, number one, just like scrolling and doing things. And also it's just like a really shitty way to start your day. You know what I mean? It just like starts your day with your mind on like overdrive where you're either like consuming too much content or you're consuming too much news, like just too much. And for somebody like me, who like obviously part of my job is like social media, it also makes me be working first thing in the morning. So I cannot stress enough and I think it will change your life. If even just for an hour, you have no phone at all. So the only reason I'll use my phone in the morning is to either listen to music like on the Bluetooth speaker or to listen to a podcast. So I keep my phone on do not disturb a lot, but I definitely, I always sleep with it on do not disturb. So I keep it like that until I'm ready to like actually start doing things. So huge tip for being productive and yeah. Alrighty, ordered sweet green for lunch just because I was being lazy and Will was like, you should order something healthy so we can eat bad tonight, so here we go. I just got the kale Caesar because I was being very lazy and didn't feel like building my own, plus I know it's always good, and I just add the roasted sweet potatoes because I think they're good. Ah. <laughs> A little Friday update, just went to Emily's to record the podcast, and guess what? I left my headphones here, so now we're coming back to my place. <sighs> and here we are, re-recording an episode because it didn't save right. Hello! We're literally on couch cushions in the bathroom. This is starting a podcast. I keep looking at myself, but I think the camera's right here. It's on, it the, it's on the different side that my... As you can see, we have a really high-tech setup. Shoeboxes. Shoeboxes! Yeah, so Friday, a wild Friday night. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday now, and Maui, number one, goes home today. I'm so sad. But she also slept in until 7.30 or 8, which is incredible since she woke up at 5.30 yesterday. She's barking at her toy. What are you doing? Oh, good, I'm glad she's getting out her zoomies before we go in the car. <gasps> You're so pretty. Uh, what was I gonna say? So yeah, she slept in, I'm so sad I have to take her back, but I'm kind of in a rush to take her back because it's supposed to be like icy here today and snowy at home, so I'm trying to go back quicker. Unfortunately, I guess I can't like hang that much at home. I mean, my car is all wheel drive, but I don't like driving in this weather because when I was a freshman in college, I wrecked my car in like a quarter inch of snow, like literally fell into a creek. And before you're like, oh my God, into a creek. So basically it's literally, all, I was turning on my road, my car just slipped and my car, as soon as I turned, I was like, oh my God, I'm going into the creek. And it was like slow motion and I just went, my car ended up sideways. Um, I'll put a picture here and show it to you. Uh, and I'll just never forget just like sitting there and literally looking out my driver window and like the creek just running underneath like it's a super it's a small creek and I just remember seeing my iPod like bouncing on the aux cord and I called my sister and like you could see the end of the road from my house and I was like oh my god <laughs> It took like two very strong men who were driving by. What are you doing? In a truck to like vertically pull the door up. Anyways, long story short, I need to head home soon. So we'll see what we vlog today. Just got back. Walking in the door is so depressing without a little fun friend meeting you. Being so excited. But anyways, what I'm pretty much going to do the rest of the day is edit 
podcast episodes, edit this vlog that you're watching, and watch Yellowstone. I know one thing, but I can't remember the second thing, but I feel like the second thing I'm like weirdly excited about, or maybe I'm just like an idiot. Oh, that's what it is. So number one, I got a fabric shaver. So anything that pills, I've noticed that some of my sweats, sweats lately after I've washed them like a few times have been pilling, but this is good for your couch or anything. I'm sure you guys have seen other influencers using them. I think maybe I've said this before, but if you follow influencers who link things, like I do it as well, I'm like, you look, oh, like shameless plug, I guess. But like, usually there's like a little link and they make a very small commission on things, like cents most of the time. But I'm not sure if this is supposed to stay on here. But yeah, I'm super excited about this little tool. Oh my God, what did I do? And then it just, I'm pumped about this little guy. I also was fully influenced, as I said in the beginning of this vlog, by Delaney Childs. So I have this water bottle, I like it, but it only is 20 ounces. Very aesthetic, very cute, but in order to get my water intake, it's like not the cutest thing you've ever seen, but I wanna get like cute little stickers on Etsy and stuff, like Post Malone, hello, One Tree Hill, all that. Oh my God, I love how big it is. It won't fit anywhere in a cup holder, but that's besides the point. It's this big, water bottle, you know, that does the hours. So it's a 64 ounce bottle. So once again, I bought this through her link and I love that there's a handle. Like I love that there's a handle so much. Um, and a straw, oh, love that. And a screw cap. So this will just help with water intake and you know, it has like, but I like that it has the hours. I've usually been against, not against, but I just don't love like the whole like lame things that they say. But I think it's good. So I, if I drank two of these a day, I'd have a gallon of water a day. So even if I drink, oh my God, one and a half, it's good. So I'm very excited about this. Oh, awesome. What did I order from Poshmark? What is this? Oh my God, cute little note. Holy shit, when I ship out my Poshmark, I don't even put a card in there. I know that sounds bad, but I'm just like, here you go. Oh no, I did get this on Poshmark. Yes, I got the Summer Fridays jet lag mask. I did say this earlier in the vlog. Oh, I'm pumped. Oh, it's just as beautiful as I thought it would be. But yeah, this was like $18 on Poshmark, which yeah, you pay the shipping. But like the, the tube of this normally is like $48, I'm pretty sure. Love it. And let's get editing. I'm, I'm definitely not gonna vlog anything else today because nothing exciting is going on. But I may show you guys a little bit of our Valentine's Day and then this vlog will be over. And I know for a fact this vlog is gonna be like, 45 that thing minutes, but it's a weekly vlog. Good morning, it is the last day of the vlog. It is Sunday and Valentine's Day, but Will and I aren't like huge into Valentine's Day. Number one, we've been together for so long. Number two, it's just, I hate to say it's a stupid holiday, but kind of is. So we just will like get dinner tonight or something. And then he's at the gym right now. So he's like, if I'm doing dinner, can you make me bacon and eggs? And I'm like, sure. Except I got these donuts from my parents yesterday. So I'm gonna eat these myself because he had one last night. And it is my first day drinking out of my big water bottle. I'm obsessed. I just love the handle and just makes you like wanna drink it. Anyway, it's gonna be a pretty chill day, but happy Valentine's Day. And don't look too hard into this holiday because it's kind of dumb. You know what I mean? But if you're into it, that's great. If you love Valentine's Day, amazing. But it's just never been something I've been, like I don't even think of it as a holiday, so. Alrighty, so Will got me these flowers today, cute. We're not huge on Valentine's Day though, so we just went and got pizza for lunch. I made him some bacon and eggs, which is all he wanted, and we're gonna have some dinner. But unfortunately, the place that we ordered our dinner from literally only does like steak and fries it's really interesting but i just made us will love caesar salad so i put a cucumber and tomato in mine update i'm obsessed with this water bottle i already drank one full one and that's with sleeping in so even if i finish just like one and a half i'm drinking like 96 ounces if not more because of the ice a day well will just brought back dinner and uh it came with salad like steak bits, fries, there's bread, and salad. We're gonna 
enjoy this while watching. Watching Yellowstone. If you haven't watched it yet, you need to get on the show. This is my first time re-watching it and I finished it in like four days. Alrighty guys, so wrapping up the vlog here. I know it was a long one and I'll work on that with the future weekly vlogs to come, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't already, subscribe below. It means a lot to me. Go follow me on all my other channels, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, you know, all the things. And I will see you guys for the next one. Have a great day.